Good morning, YouTube people, world, everywhere. Out here in good old Southern California, high desert. See, we got some snow up here. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much all gone. All the snow's gone. We had about, uh, about 12 inches, 10 to 12 inches. I can't really see, but I live down there. Anyway, just wanted to update you guys. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I did sell my truck. I sold the 4th gen. Sold the 4th gen, uh, <clears throat> my 2012 4th gen, and uh, sold it to the guy at work and went and picked me up another one. So, here you go. Here's this one. Didn't notice that. It's got some dents up here. Didn't notice that yesterday. Anyway, we went to uh, Yuma, Arizona yesterday, my wife and me. Went up there, uh, over there, I guess you could say, and uh, picked up the truck. Took us about four hours to get there. Oh, no, sorry, almost five hours. <clears throat> five, five hours to get there, and it was about seven hours to get home just due to traffic, the holidays. Um, this is New Year's week. Today's Sunday, by the way. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, it's a 2010 Ram 2500 four-wheel drive Cummins diesel. Um, it's the Laramie edition. So, I'll just go over what I know. I picked it up yesterday. Didn't really get to go through it. Um, it's got some dings on it. Um, as you can see, dings there, ding in the hood, whatever. Um, so, fog lights. It does have... It does have a steering issue. Um, I think it's a gearbox. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. So it's got these cheap tires, uh, 225. Um, I can't remember what they were. Oh, sorry, 325, 60R20s, uh, load E. They're pretty much brand new. It's got brand new brakes, looks like, brand new pads. Or I should say newer pads. Um, it does have a wind. <clears throat> like as if it's got a... Uh, um, a bad wheel bearing. Anyway, XD series. 20 inch by... I'm assuming they're 20 inch by 9s. 9s um, or 10s. Either way, whatever. It does have Bilstein 5100s. Shocks on it. It does have a, a leveling kit. Uh... It rides really, really nice. Uh, tires probably need to be balanced. So it's got amp research steps. So that's a plus. Automatic. So as you can see, kind of scary inside the truck because you get in the truck. You get in the truck and you hear all this noise and you're like, what the heck is that noise? Um, if you're not used to them. So it's got the chrome mirrors, which I don't like. So I want to get rid of the chrome mirrors. The same company that sent me out the uh, these lights and these mirror lights. They're sending me out a newer set, a newer style. Um, but yeah, so amp research uh, steps. Um, it's got the steering steering support whatever it's called steering brace under here so this whole bracketry is steering looks like an aftermarket steering stabilizer um looks like an aftermarket track bar because it's all greased greasable so that might be one of my issues um it's got aftermarket sway bar sway bar end links um uh, yeah, so, oh, and it's got Carly, Lifetime Carly, whatever you want to call it, ball joints, um, upper and lowers on both sides. So the guy spent some money on this truck, um, and it's all stock, not deleted. I won't get into, uh, the motor because it's just the standard 
six seven Cummins motor. Um, anyway, I guess uh, we'll just get to the main reason why I bought it. Uh, basically, short bed, as you can see. Short bed, so one of the short bed, my uh, long bed was too much. It does have air bags for the rear. However, they are missing. Um, oh, it does have a spare. Nice. Nice. So, um, but yeah, it's got airbag brackets right up there. So I'll just have to buy uh, the airbags um, themselves. Um, it's probably what my grinding is. These brakes are... They look like they're pretty worn in the rear. Cause those boots. I don't know if you can see it right there. They're pretty much extended all the way out. Which means the brakes are worn. So I'm probably rubbing metal to metal. Uh, Cause I hear a whining noise. It's not like a diff noise. Cause it starts at a real low RPM. But yeah, the rotors. Probably needs new rotors. Um, but anyway, it's lined. The bed is whatever the heck that is. Best bed liner in the world. I don't know. Never heard of it. Inyati, whatever. It's all kind of chewed up. Does have a gooseneck hitch. I'm gonna try to get that out. The ball. Um, I gotta figure all that out. It's got a toolbox. Um, the rear, I'll probably do the same thing I did to my truck. So we got a dent here in the bumper. So I'll probably take the bu buy new bumpers, front and rear, send them out to get powder coated, and uh, yeah. So got a little dent here. Tailgate opens and closes. So pretty much. I haven't really done anything to the truck because I just just got it yesterday got home last night I jacked it up was messing around with the steering a little bit it is all stock like I said the exhaust is completely stock um, all the way DPF everything ouch um everything still stock so I gotta find a delete kit somehow oh, yeah. so anyway I'll, I'll get to it I'll get to the reason why I got it I bought the truck because I wanted a mega cab and I got a mega cab so this big old beast so excited to have this truck um, once I get the brakes and whatever else figured out the wheels, I'll keep the wheels the way they are. Um, I was thinking about a burnt copper, but you know what? I like the way it looks. The only thing I will do, is, like I said, is the exhaust. I like uh, one angle in. There you go, you got your little dream. Uh, you said you didn't like the uh, running boards or to paint the running boards on the old one. So these ones are gone until obviously you open the door and unless it's locked which I hope I didn't lock the other door um, but yeah I'm gonna leave it like this leave it all stock or not stock this is a, has a leveling kit on it so I'm gonna leave it the way it is what I will do like I said will be delete it and then I'm gonna delete this vinyl crap like I did the other truck and then somehow do something with these mirrors you see me? I do not like chrome mirrors. So, pretty excited because it's got a lot of stuff that I still wanted to do to, uh, to the other 4th gen. Like the amp research steps. Um, I wanted to do that to them, to the other truck. And now I don't have to. That's $1,500 saved. So, um, but yeah. One of these days I'll figure this out. So it's really a really clean truck. Um, this is 
so far what I've found trash wise uh, he he does have a it's got a uh, two tens they look like tens Alpine tens with an amp sounds all right but I'll probably rip those out I do have to get the uh, thing that goes back here I will have to get that so that's why it looks so weird this is loose Oh, maybe that's how it is. Okay, well, I guess that's how it is. Um, but yeah, no leaks. I left it in my driveway all night. I pulled it on the driveway for that very reason, just to see if it was leaking. There's no leaks. It's a very clean engine uh, compartment. All leather. He's got the Weather Tech. I think I don't know who they are. They don't seem like Weather Tech. They seem cheaper, but. Carpet interior, ooh, wood, wood grain. I wish it was oak. No, no, I don't. Um, but yeah, like I say, it was saying, I don't know who these are. I don't know if they're weather tech, husky weather beaters. I don't know. So, um, but yeah, so it's got the adjustable foot pedals, so the pedals come up and down. This just tilts. It doesn't telescope the steering wheel. Like the fourth gen um, fog lights, you know. Oh, that's cargo light, cargo light, and then push this is fog light trailer brake. I don't know what this is. If any of you guys know what that is, please let me know. It's tied into a wire harness here. I'm assuming it's some type of alarm or something. Uh, but yeah, the truck does have remote start, <clears throat> so I don't know if it'll work. Lock it and push it twice remote start aborted door ajar um but anyway it won't work so whatever let me make sure it's unlocked so some pretty dope chrome thingies no sunroof I didn't want the sunroof some of them come with the sunroof um, let's get in this thing so as you can see I got it in four wheel drive to make it up this big hill. It's got heated and vented seats, heated steering wheel, some Chipotle napkins, cause we went to Chipotle, the wife and me, a place for business cards. Like I said, I really, I really haven't gotten into the truck um, because I just, we just got home last night. It was like whatever time it was, I don't remember. But anyway, so exhaust brake, tow haul, nothing, hazards. That's for the plug for right here. So 115 volt, 150 watt power. Um, I'm still trying to figure this out. I don't know if it doesn't work with the Apple, but whatever. Um, Alpine sound system throughout. It's got the tinted mirrors, home link, uh, back window slides open. Um, he had this big old fat steering wheel cover and I was getting arm pump driving. And then we have some stickers, I guess. Yeti, Yeti, oh, Hadas, I don't know what that is, and some Spy, that's the title. We have a power in here, 12 volt. This is a little bit loose. Oh, it's the top. The top is a little bit loose. Maybe I can find a way to tighten that up. And we got this big old compartment. Um, sweet! A key. I don't know. A mono. Like I said, I haven't, haven't done anything. I haven't looked through this truck that much. So, what I'm finding is... What I'm finding, that's some power supply thing. Um, definitely Lo Escena de Rock in Tu Idemoa. I have no clue. It's Spanish music. Um, but yeah, left a bunch of trash in here. It's a big old tree. Um, your donation support, BK scholarships, whatever. Uh, another tree. It's 
some zip ties, feels like. Yep. Yep, a zip tie. Ooh, a thousand dollar bill. Um, yeah, I really haven't gone through anything. More zip ties and it just feels like change. Some nuts. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'll just go through this truck. What is that? Oh, oh sweet. $34.99 from Kroger. Um, but yeah, I'll go through the whole truck. I'll clean it. French fries. Nasty. Um, but yeah, like I said, if anybody knows what that stupid thing is, let me know. I don't want to push it. It's got a couple buttons on it. I don't really want to push it. That's cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, so... Pretty excited for this truck, man. You guys have no clue. Uh, the same over here. There's four cell signs he had on it. Sorry, this is a long video, guys. Cup holders. Um, let's see. A little windshield visor. Let's see what come down. There's the speaker box. And an amp. I did find... <laughs> Yesterday, I don't know what it is. I probably shouldn't even touch it. But here's a here's an O-ring for something. I found this knife. Looks like it's got a bunch of blood on it. No, I'm just kidding. The organic company, Organic Co. Number 412S. Nice. Maybe I'll look it up and do a tool review. Um, this truck does not have the ice chests. The ice chest compartments in here. I don't know if it's a mega cab thing or what. Um, yeah, so um, it does have this cover, which I was looking for. I was looking for this jack cover uh, for the other fourth gen. Couldn't find it. So this is kind of what I found under there. And under the jack bracket, there's a lot more change. Um, oh, sweet, a flashlight. Score. <laughs> nice. I found a flashlight. Sweet. It's an LED bulb in there. Nice. What else we got? Nothing in there. Looks like the lug nut thingy. Ah, the manual. You know what I want to see. I want to see if this has a cabin filter. You guys are... Oh, jeez. <laughs> um... Wow, what the heck is all this? What the heck? That's some nasty crap. Looks like they had a cabin filter. Let me... Wish that flashlight worked. It looks like they... Attempted to do a cabin filter and glued it or something. Oh, that's weird. I might have to dive into that later. Later, I'll dive into it later. Another video. Um, another compartment here. We got some light bulbs. Another light bulb. Uh, this plugs into there for an iPod. It says iPod. What's an iPod? iPad? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so everything's good on this truck. Everything's in really good condition. It's kind of weird. The guy was a skinny guy. A skinny Hispanic guy. I mean, Hispanic has nothing to do with it. Um, but he was a pretty skinny dude, so he didn't do much wear and tear. On the title, it does show that he bought it with 30,000 miles. Um, so, he didn't, he, you know, he posted it up as that, and I don't really want to get into this paperwork, it probably has some of his information on it, so, anyway guys, uh, you guys tell me what you guys think, I'm pretty excited for it, um, I just gotta figure out the grinding noise, which I'm hoping and assuming it's the brakes, the, the rear brakes, the front pads look like, they look like they got a lot of, they feel like they got a lot of meat in them. 
but so did the Audi. Um, he did do oil changes himself. I did check the oil. Oil's good, but I did buy. I bought a bunch of oil um, because I'm gonna do my own oil change. So now I gotta go get it smogged. Thankfully, it's all stock. I'll go get it smogged tomorrow. Uh, go get it weighed, and uh, yeah, go from there and pay the probably three thousand dollars. It won't be that much, but anyway, it's same same thing. Pay the ton of money to get it registered in California. Um, even though I just did that on the other fourth gen. So anyway, um, but yeah. So uh, whatever. I'll put that back later. All right, guys. You guys, let me know what you guys think. I don't really have to do much to this truck, um, as far as video wise. So. Yeah, you guys let me know what you guys think. I like it. Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a like. Give the truck a like. Because it's pretty sweet. I like it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Comment below. Sorry for the long video. Later.